What's up y'all? So I don't really know how the format of this video is going to go but I really just kind of wanted to talk to you guys because it's been a while since I've consistently been putting well I say a while it's been like maybe the past three weeks that I haven't been putting out videos consistently and I mentioned quickly in my curl box video that I was having some medical issues. So I kind of wanted to explain that more in depth, just so number one, I'm not making it sound like it's more than it is. And then number two, just to, you know, enlighten you guys on what's been going on with me. Um, so like, I kind of have like a few things that I wanted to get get done in this video like I had some haul things I kind of wanted to touch base on my personal life and then um yeah I think that's it I really just wanted to include a haul into this like life update so let's start from the tippy top okay so um I started to do like a get ready with me explaining what all was going on with my health um but the footage was just a hot mess and I was like it'd just be much easier if I was just to talk to you guys so let's rewind about this was months ago now I got my pap smear results back said that they I had some abnormal cells and because of this has been something that has happened and they were high grade abnormal cells they wanted to go in and remove them so they did a procedure called a leap and it is like an outpatient procedure I did have to be sedated they did put me under um and so I went back in like two weeks after I got my results back from my pap smear and I was down for a few days um for the most part like everything was pretty easy breezy but basically it was to remove those abnormal cells so they don't become a problem in the future and since then it's now been three weeks post-op and I can't say that I'm 100% right now because I still experience some cramping and things like that so like I'm still trying to recover and in the midst of all of what was going on with that I just realized how much I don't take care of me and my body and my health so I kind of had to take just like a mental break and like really focus on the things that were Im mo most important and that is my health. So um, I decided to do some dietary changes. I've since started working out a little bit more. Not saying that those things directly link to what, what basically like my procedure was for. But I just felt like it was something that I needed to do. Number one, I'm like getting older in age. I'm almost 29 years old and i'm just i'm not a spring chicken no more and i've put on a lot of weight in the past three years or so and i've i've procrastinated a lot about just making um my health and the way i eat and exercise i failed to make that a part of my daily routine and i've always came up with excuses oh i don't have time i have three kids i have this i have that but i was filming videos for you guys and sitting down and editing and you know doing stuff like that and they kind of hindered me from like you know actually getting up and getting moving so for the past <clears throat> ooh, for the past it's been over a month now um starting the end of January I decided to start the transition into going vegetarian um, I can't give you guys exact reasons why I felt like that was a good choice for me other than you know my mom she she eats according to her blood type her and I share the same blood type um, I encourage you guys to look up on that type of thing and I know for me a lot of meats aren't good for me because my digestion tract just doesn't support it very well and it has shown because TMI you know I get constipated a lot so 
um, that was one thing that I kind of wanted to do for myself and then try to buy as many organic products as possible um, as far as my food goes and I'm starting to try to transition that into my like my my uh, hygiene routine so I've been you know I made my own lotion because I don't know what chemicals are in my lotions and stuff that I was using previously I switched my deodorant because I don't know what's in those so I mean I've just been make, trying to make small changes and I will say so far I'm doing really really well as far as eating is concerned I had I haven't switched like I haven't had any a temptation to eat meat but I feel like with <laughs> the meat being out of my diet now and let me clarify um, I'm still doing fish and I'm still doing some dairy again this is a transition so I can't just do one quick swoop of everything and just be done with it all I would like to eventually work myself up to that the biggest thing for me is learning how to cook without meat and then eventually without any dairy products at all. Um, I cut off uh, milk, cow's milk, um, probably over a year ago. So, and that was due to my son's health because he has asthma and just cow's milk was not good for him. So um, we cut that out of our diet about a year ago. So like, you know, that part was easy, but I love cheese. I love eggs and I cook with butter so that's something that I'm gonna to have to learn how to you know make certain dishes and you know get a taste for like my taste buds are still adjusting to you know making those switches but um that was a sidetrack I got so side sidetracked <laughs> but <clears throat> um so yeah, I just really wanted to make sure that what I was putting inside of my body was cleaner. I'm not saying clean 100% because like I said, I don't get tempted with eating meat, but I get tempted with eating carbs. Like I like salty, savory product, like foods. So um, I may grab a bag of chips. I may like, you know, eat things that I don't need to be eating late at night because I'm sometimes like I don't know I can't say that I don't feel full but I'm so used to like feeling like I'm about to bust that sometimes I feel like I need a snack so that's where I can tend to get out of control and for the most part I'm okay about it but just every once in a while I do have those weak moments still um so that's pretty much it as far as my diet is concerned. And again, like I've been trying to try out more natural um, products for my skin and my face and stuff like that. I'm going to eventually get to the hair aspect of it. But with my job, I'm constantly trying out different products in as hard as I try to make sure that things are more on the natural and sustainable ingredients side of things. I mean, I just can't monitor it all right now. So let's just go on ahead and transition into the haul part of this. I'm gonna grab this real quick because I forgot to. Um, so again, I said that I made my own lotion and this is what it looks like. I just have it in like a mason jar. Um, and that's what it looks like. I have it like, you know, a bit more of like a, not a real thick consistency, but not super thin like a lotion. But for this lotion, I used a cocoa butter base. I used about two cups of that. Um, I used a fourth of a cup of avocado oil, a fourth of a cup of coconut oil, and a fourth of a cup of um, sweet almond oil. And then I also added in some essential oils just for smell. This one is actually a blend, which is the doTERRA Serenity Calming Blend. I just like the scent a lot. 
and it does have like the calming qualities to it as well so so far i've really liked this and i was able with the the measurements that i gave you i was able to make two of these jars so this is going to be at least i would guesstimate about a month supply of just one of these so i have two months worth of lotion so there goes one of my like haul items i suppose let me get a i need a towel here and then as far as deodorant let me grab this one as well um i've kind of been battling with deodorant so i've been using the uh natural protection crystal body deodorant stick for probably about four months or so yeah maybe about four months and I do like it I do feel like it combats any BO but I didn't like that it had no fragrance at all and like you know with me working in heat like it I can get a little musty with this still and I don't need any room for air so I still have this on the days that I'm not at work or if I feel like you know I need to let my underarms breathe then I'll use this but for the most part here recently I picked this guy up which is by the same brand it is crystal essence mineral deodorant roll-on and this is the vanilla jasmine scent and this one is paraben free and hypoallergenic and yeah so basically it has like basically the mineral salt that's in this and then also it has purified water a natural fragrance like and then like you can just tell like some uh preservatives in this to make it last but so far i've really been enjoying this i've only been using this for maybe about the past month or so and so far i've really really liked it and then as far as like my face products, um, I've just been using the, the same things that I had, but I did want to pick up this guy, which is very, very popular here on YouTube and just like all of the DIY, like natural beauty gu gurus use this. It is the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay and basically it is just the all natural bentonite clay. I have not had a chance to use this yet, but... I said that I will get plenty of use out of this because both me and my young or my oldest daughter can use this. She's suffering from like some um, pre-puberty breakout. I don't know what, what they're from, but she's been breaking out a lot. So we've been making sure that we take good care of her skin and she's used this already. And I can tell that it really dried out some of her breakouts. So I'm really excited to use this for myself. I probably won't use it as much as she will, but um, just like maybe once a week or so, I will be using this to, you know, purify my skin. And then, I mean, that was pretty much it for like the body and face products. Then, of course, I just had like some other goodies that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I want to say it was last month I showed you guys on my Snapchat. If you do not follow me on Snapchat, definitely do so. I have a lot of fun on there. Most of it is like real casual stuff that I'm doing out with my kids or just selfies and stuff like that. I will try to include more beauty type stuff in there but I shared with my snapchat that I finally finally got the morph palette the 35-0 and that is it there I was so excited when I was finally able to get this and I got it for a really good price too because I use I want to say Patrick Star's um code and it turned out to be maybe about twenty dollars and then i just grabbed two brushes as well i've really wanted to get like a smaller like angled blush brush and this is the e4 and as you can see it's dirty i've been using it but i've really been liking this so far and this brush um young wild and polish she uses this brush a lot and every time i see her use it i was like i need that so bad so this one is the e49 and it's like um it's like a tulip shaped brush i don't know i've been using it to like set underneath my eyes and it's very very soft and gentle i love this thing so i'll probably be getting a 
some more of their brushes from their elite collection because i really like the feral or the what is this the wand part i don't know the ferals are really really nice you can just tell they're really good quality and when they have sales the deals are the bomb girl so what else um i also picked up the wet and wild brushes so i picked up as many as i could get um i am missing two I'm missing the angled brush and the flat foundation brush, I want to say. But let me show you guys the eyeshadow brushes first. So this one is the small eyeshadow brush. It just looks like it's like a packing brush just to kind of pack something all over the lid. And then here is the crease brush. And I have not had a chance to use these yet, but I did bust them open just to give them a feel. They feel so good. And they are vegan, cruelty-free brushes. So I was excited for that as well. And then, let me see if I have any more eye brushes. And then this guy, which is the small concealer brush. I'm really excited to use this one for like maybe packing on pigments or glitter. I do want to do like a glitter look very, very soon. So excited to use that one. And then the large eyeshadow brush, which will be really nice to like, I always like using brushes like this to like, you know, do a light dusting of like a highlight underneath my brow bone. And then here for the face brushes, these are all face brushes. Um, the small stipple brush, which is really nice. I really like the color of these as well. I don't own any brushes that are white. So this is, this is fun for me. Um, next one here is the flat top brush. And I do want to give this, I want to pull this one out because it's so small, like, you know, the width of this is so long or small I don't know how much surface you'll be able to cover with it but I'm excited to see you know how it does and I do like that it has like this little finger groove in there you know it feels very comfortable in the hand so yeah excited to try this guy and then next here is a contour brush and all of these, I didn't even mention the price. All of the eye brushes were 99 cents. The face brushes were $2.99. Either $2.99 or $3.99. I want to say $2.99. And at the time that I bought them, they were buy one, get one, 50% off. So I got an even better deal. All right, so last two brushes. Here is the blush brush, which is just, you know, your standard blush brush and then your powder brush which i wanted to pull this one out as well just to kind of compare the two to see like if there really was a big difference because i felt like these ones were pretty similar so the blush brush you can see is much more flat and like you know not as dense so like you get like a really light application and then the powder brush is a bit more dense and much wider so you're able to like you know get a little bit more coverage with this so yeah so that was all the wet and wild brushes i just had um i have a few more things to show you <laughs> just had two more things to show you guys so i fell into the um hype of this product and I'm not even mad. So I went on ahead and picked up the RCMA powder, uh, the colorless powder. And I got that three ounce. This was $10. I got it from namies.com. Um, if you have a pro membership, I wanna say that you can get this for a cheaper price. I didn't get the pro membership until after I ordered it because I thought that it was going to sell out. So I didn't want to have to wait for them to, you know, send me my email confirming that I got pro status and blah, blah, blah. But after I received it or before I actually received it, like I was just pondering. I was like, you know what? I already have a colorless powder. I have the Benign Neutral set, which is... A colorless powder so I kind of did a comparison you know with my own you know time 
and they are pretty much the same and it was funny because shortly after you know I kind of was messing around with them I seen that uh what would Lizzie do compare the two so that was really helpful as well and it just further assured me that they are indeed pretty much about the same so if you cannot get the RCMA powder the Ben Nye is just as good and I want to say the Ben Nye may be a little bit cheaper um so yeah I'll link her video to her con comparison of the two down below just so you can see like an in-depth look of it all because I'm not going to do that so yeah got these well I didn't get this one but I got this guy and I was excited to do so I actually used it on my face today and your girl is looking flawless so lastly my grandmother picked me up <laughs> this which I thought was really funny because back in the day like these were a holy grail of mine I was all about being tan as fuck like I wanted to be as bronze as can be like I would bake in the tanning beds I would lay out in the sun like I was a golden goddess and you know you weren't gonna tell me otherwise so I do my grandmother's hair she was like I want to get you something nice da 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 as a gift and she brought these over and I was so excited to see them because I definitely need to start working on a tan but I don't like going in tanning beds anymore just because it's not good for your skin and I'm not that young no more I gotta take care of myself so she got me the tan towel Mar margaritaville 20 piece and she ordered these from HSN I cannot tell you what the price of on these guys I don't even know if they're still available but basically what they are are they are little towelettes in this pack and all you have to do is apply these like rub them in to clean skin clean dry skin no lotion or anything and within two to three hours I would say um, you start growing a gradual tan what I would do with these um, like I said I would go in the tanning bed and I would grow a tan but my legs never got as dark so I would use these mainly on my legs to you know give me that glow so love these I will be using these very soon I have not had a chance to use them yet because I'm not there yet but um yeah I will be using these to you know start transitioning myself into Bronzeville yes so the last thing I wanted to mention to you guys, I am slowly, but you know, I'm getting there. I'm getting to 1000 subscribers. So first of all, I want to thank you to everybody who has subscribed recently or from the very beginning. I want to thank you all so much for your support. And I will be doing a giveaway for my 1k. So I want you guys to let me know down in the comments. Put it down in the comments, put it down, put it down in the comments, put it down, put it down. I just had to do that. Um, if you have anything that you want to see in the giveaway, any suggestions, you know, help me out just a little bit. I already have some things, you know, starting to build up. I got a stash going on, but I want to hear from you guys personally as my subscribers, my supporters, some things that you want in a giveaway so I can make sure I am going to, you know, get you everything you need, honey, and more and make it exciting. So I would really, really appreciate if you guys We'll leave, you know, anything. It could be one or two. It could be nothing. Like, it could be, you know, anything. Beauty related, body products, whatever. If you want me to make you a lotion, girl, I'll make you some lotion. Like, you know, anything that you want to see in this giveaway, please let me know down in the comments. Again, I thank you guys so, so much. You don't know how much it means to me that I have people who, you know, support me this much at something that has just been my me time um and i strongly encourage everybody especially the mamas out there because we make a lot of excuses and we do a lot for everybody else to take care of yourself like it is so vital is so important take care of your mind body and soul make sure that you are you know filling your soul up with purpose you are you know filling your body up with nutrients and nourishment 
in that you are freeing your mind from the bullshit <laughs> straight up so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i know it's a long one but i'm not gonna cut shit out because you know i just ain't got that time today i'm gonna i've spent this time filming it and i'm gonna upload it and i'm gonna put some transitions in there and that's it <laughs> um so i hope that you guys appreciate this because i did want to address a few things and i just wanted to you know share some stuff some goodies as well and let you guys know about the giveaway that I will be doing for you guys very, very soon. So if you have not subscribed already, girl, what you waiting for? Go on ahead and hit that button. And until the next one, I will see you guys later. Peace.